Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will focus on your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, and what their intentions or next actions might be for the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Messages please, guidance for Pisces at this time, Spirit. What do we need to know about the person that Pisces is thinking about? we're connecting with at this time what do we need to know spirit what do we need to know regarding the person that pisces is thinking about we're connecting with at this time what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person's energies towards pisces the chariot cancer energy Ten of Cups, okay. And the Eight of Cups. Well, the Eight of Cups and the uh, Chariot together, I think of someone moving, moving away, leaving something behind, walking away from something. Or it could be that someone's thinking about a departure when it comes to you. Maybe you walked away from them. Maybe they walked away from you in the past. And they want to come back in with the chariot. We'll see. Because the Ten of Cups is here. So the Ten of Cups is kind of like having a happy ending, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. You kind of have it all with the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Wow. The Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So whoever this is, I feel like they are emotionally invested. Um, I'll have to see what this is all about in a second but i feel like whoever this is wants to come in for pisces what else do we need to know about the energies between pisces and this person's spirit what do we need to know about the energies between pisces and this person standing firm okay Patiently waiting. Okay, can I get one more? Energies between Pisces and this person. Past life. Okay, so this could be somebody from the past. Past life connection or past person. Um, like an ex or something like that. Patiently waiting. Standing firm. Let me get one more. Can I get one more spirit regarding the energy used of this connection between Pisces and this person? You know, it's like I'm seeing that someone here might be waiting for the right time to approach someone that is resistant. Stay optimistic about your love life. You deserve love. Okay, Pisces, I don't think that you, I don't know, it's, it's almost like maybe you just aren't aware of this. Maybe you've been waiting for this person. Maybe this person has been waiting for you. Maybe someone needs reassurance here that love is possible. I feel like I'm missing something. So let's start clarifying here. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot spirit. What do I need to know about the chariot? Four of pentacles. What do we need to know about the chariot? Two of cups. Holding on to someone that you care about. Protect, you know, this is some, this partnership between you. This person values it. The moon. There you are, Pisces. And the four of cups. I feel like there's something that's not very clear, though. Maybe a secret or something, maybe someone's hiding their feelings. But I feel like someone's holding on to a connection or the idea of a connection, protecting or feeling like that connection was very valuable. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Seven of Cups, illusions. Man, I keep getting these two cards together. The moon and the seven of cups. So immediately I have to interpret it as an illusion because both of these cards kind of deal with illusions which, where you can't see clearly. Something you can't see clearly with the moon and the seven of cups. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Death, Scorpio energy. 
Okay, so I feel like an illusion here has ended or has caused an ending. I think that this could be interpreted in a couple of ways, Pisces. This person could have been misled by an idea, a thought, or by someone else. And they decided to listen to that person or go with that idea and it didn't work out. It could also be that there were secrets here that led to an ending between you and this person. Um, things weren't as they seemed at face value. You could also be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. A lot of water energy here with the Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. So, okay, let's keep going because I feel like if I stay here, I won't, like, move on <laughs> from here. Okay, so let's move this up. This moon is very important. Okay, let's keep going. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Pisces? The Emperor, Aries energy, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is what someone wants. Your person, this is what they are wanting. What they want to go after. There's the Fool. And bottom of the deck, the world, definitely. I feel like your person is focused on this Ten of Cups. And for some reason, it involves you. And it involves action. The Emperor, Knight of Wands, the Fool. All of these three cards, you could say, are active cards. Because something's being actively done, pursued. Especially with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands wants to come in quickly. The Chariot is here as well. So it's like somebody just wants to come in quickly and take a risk with the Fool or start something new with the world. Um, and I think it involves a partnership with the Two of Cups. Someone that I feel they've held on to. Something, someone that they value or that they want this Ten of Cups. This person already has this person in mind and I think it's you. So why the Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups? They could have left you in the past. Maybe they're leaving something right now in the current, um, in the present. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Hangman, seeing things differently. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Nine of Wands. difficulty being through a lot with the nine of wands tell me about the eight of cups eight of wands whoever this whatever this um whatever's happening here is happening quickly pisces yeah the tower and the world again at the bottom of the deck this is big i feel like this is happening quickly with the Chariot, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, quick movement. But I also think it involves a big shift, the Tower of the World. I mean, it's kind of odd though that we have the Hangman here. So I get the sense that, okay, again, take this as it resonates, Pisces, because there's multiple interpretations here based on the cards that are here. Uh, if someone left the connection in the past with the hangman, they could be seeing that departure in a different light. Um, maybe they were really affected by that departure, even if they don't admit it. And now they want to make some sort of move with the tower. That's one way to interpret it. Another way to interpret this is that somebody might have left a situation that they were stuck in with the hangman, that affected them deeply, and now they want to move away from that situation and that's going to cause a tower. Those are the two major interpretations that I see so far. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me about this tower, Spirit. Tower is an unexpected event, something that shakes a foundation. Tell me about the tower. The Nine of Swords. Someone's worried about this tower. Tell me about the tower. The Six of Pentacles. But it'll bring balance. And there's the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's scared with the Nine of Swords. Worried, anxious about this tower. But at the same time, I feel like it's 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 needed. That's usually what happens with towers. 
Now the Eight of Wands with the Tower could also be there's some sort of communication that's unexpected or some sort of action that's unexpected. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Eight of Pentacles. Work, effort, time. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. Whatever this Eight of Wands is that's connected to this, I feel it's connected to this tower, it's going to take effort from someone. It's, it's not something that happens on its own. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, and it's, it's like someone's working to get what they desire. Nine of Cups, their wish granted. And I feel like it involves a person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, to me as a reader, is typically like the ideal partner that you want to have. Um, so this is kind of your person's energies at this time. I feel like I'm starting to get a picture here. Let's, let's get a little bit more insight on them. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Pisces. Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Pisces? I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay. It's at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes I stay awake at night. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I'm guessing that's at night. They put that in there. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Hmm. Okay. Something definitely happened between you and this person. I really think this is a past person. Someone that already you have a history with. Tell me more about this person's energies. What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies? I'm feeling overwhelmed. Can I get one more? What do I need to know about this person's energies? Please forgive me. Okay. I feel guilty at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Very clear energy. Let me get a stellar soulmate. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about this person's energies. Regarding Pisces, regarding this connection. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energy? I can't see myself with anyone else but you. And please wait for me just a little bit longer. Are you even waiting for this person, Pisces? Let me know in the comments because I feel like this is happening... Um, outside of you. I don't feel your energy here strongly. So, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you're part of this goal, but I feel like this is more like your person's energies in regards to what they want to do, what they plan to do. So let's get some insight into their intentions, next possible actions here. I'm just going to use the same deck. I'm just going to clean it. Spirit, tell us more about this person's true intentions towards Pisces. What do they intend to do in the near future? Possible next actions in the near future towards Pisces, towards this connection. What does this person intend to do? Okay. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups shows up again, Six of Swords, Another Departure, and the King of Wands. I think this person needs to leave something. Either they're leaving a situation that already exists in the past, or they're making some sort of move, a specific move, where they leave something in the past behind with the Six of Swords. And I think this involves you. Two of Cups is here. Um, but the Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles, I feel like they've been holding on to something, carrying something that I feel has been, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know if this is something that they felt they had to carry. I don't know if this is a burden that they had to be, like, dealing with. 
or if this is just one of those situations where your person found themselves in a an attachment or a place that ended up not being what they thought it was going to be because the seven of wands is like the standing firm card you are fighting back you are standing firm you're facing a challenge or an obstacle with courage the ten of wands is someone that's burdened um, definitely someone that feels overwhelmed someone that is carrying a lot of responsibilities burdens etc and the four of pentacles we already talked about I feel like this is your person holding on to something, carrying something with them. And the King of Wands is here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because I feel like your person is definitely going to take some sort of action in the near future. So let's clarify these, get some more insight. Tell me more for Pisces spirit. What do I need to know about these energies? Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What do we need to know about the Seven of Wands? This one. There's the moon again. Pisces, there you are. Interesting. Maybe they have to fight for you. Maybe they have to fight to prove themselves to you. Maybe there's an obstacle. Maybe you are defensive or resistant against this person. Can I get the Seven of Wands, please? Okay, I have one more, please, to clarify. King of Swords. Okay. So breaking through this murkiness with the moon, the King of Swords would definitely cut through everything and get to the bottom of things. Um, they read between the lines. They care about the facts, the truth. They don't really care about your feelings. Um, I think that personally, this person is viewing you as this King of Swords. What did I say that personally? <laughs> I don't know why I put that word in there. What I mean to say is that from their point of view, you are this king of swords. You're hard to approach. You have your guard up perhaps, or they have to fight to prove themselves to you. They have to have courage to face you. Tell me about this 10 of wands. I'm also getting that this person could be communicating and cutting through this murkiness like I was saying in the beginning because the King of Swords is complete clarity, truth, and knowledge. There's no doubts. There's no hidden secrets, none, none of that. So this could be somebody being very open and honest about something, communicating something in a very clear, direct way and clearing things up perhaps. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is going to take some time. Whatever this burden is, I feel like this person is worried about the outcome or the result. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. The Emperor. Showing up as an Emperor, this person. Very um, masculine energy, but Aries energy here as well. But I feel like the Emperor is someone who... And they're showing up as kings too. This is somebody that takes charge of the situation. They get things done. They approach a problem and they find solutions and all that stuff. Um, I feel like this person thinks that they have to be an emperor-like energy to make sure that things happen the way that they want them to happen. Um, but I feel like there's a little insecurity here uh, on your person's side. I, I think they're worried about the future. Because this does not, just because you're being an emperor does not mean that things will go your way 100% of the time. Especially when it comes to love, because there's another person involved. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Strength Leo energy. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. I feel like this person... They have a lot of feelings for you, whoever this is. Knight of Cups showed up. Ten of Cups showed up. Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups is here. Two of Cups is here. But there's also like courage that's needed. This person has to have courage. The Emperor, the Strength card here, and the King of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands. It's like someone needs to be bold and have courage enough to, to face you or to deal with your connection or something like that. 
It's really strange. I feel like this person has held on to you since whatever happened. But now that they kind of want to come back in, I don't know. There's, I feel like I'm still missing a piece here that's just not in the tarot. Because this person is thinking that they're really overwhelmed. They can't see themselves with anyone else but you. They want forgiveness, right? But they also need you to wait for them, which is weird. And that's why I think the Six of Swords keeps coming up. This type of like, this departure energy. It's like they need to leave something first. Or make some sort of move, a specific move. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? The Chariot. Yeah, coming in to talk. This person could be coming over to talk to you. Cancer energy with the chariot again. There's a move that this person has to make. It could even be a physical move, Pisces. But they're definitely coming in quickly. The chariot is very fast. I feel like they want to talk to you. But when they do talk to you, perhaps there's resistance on your end. Would you be open to talking to this person? Let me know in the comments. Or are you, you know, protecting yourself from them, regarding yourself from them in some way? I feel like there's a tower, though. So the tower showed up in the previous spread. And I feel like towers are unexpected. There's something shocking about them. There's something kind of, you know, sudden about towers. So I don't know if maybe this would surprise you from this person. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here, Spirit? I feel like this is what your person wants to do. Oh, I got three. Six of Cups. There's the past again. So many energy here with the Two of Cups, Six of Cups. The High Priestess. Secrets, mysteries. And the Ten of Wands. Interesting. <laughs> I feel like this Ten of Wands is holding your person back from doing what they want to do. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Tell me more, Spirit, about this King of Wands. The Hangman, yeah. I feel like there's something that's holding your person back. Tell me about the King of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, so I have a Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands on the board. Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. A choice, an option that they have to choose. A lot going on for them. I think the past is something that is, is, is part of this Ten of Wands. So there's something that this person has been dealing with. I don't think that you're involved here. This could be outside of you, Pisces. But I feel like the past has been difficult for your person or whatever situation they find themselves in has been difficult for your person with the Five of Cups and the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, right? Like there's a burden this person's carrying with them. I think they've kept this burden like a secret or they've just, you know, they're dealing with, they're trying to work behind the scenes, I feel. That's what I'm, I'm starting to think here. And that's why it might be surprising when they do show up because they're supposed to be doing something else. <laughs> and then they do show up and you're like, why are you here? What's going on? Well, I've been working on such and such and I have this to tell you, Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Knight of Cups, yeah. An apology or telling you that they love you, they care about you, they miss you, all of that with the Knight of Cups. This is what this is what they're coming to tell you. They're coming to tell you something that is important. Interesting. And I feel like some of you secretly have been waiting for this. For this action from this person. Let me know if that's the case in the comments. All right, Pisces, I'll leave it there. That's your person's current energies as of the time of this reading. Hopefully it resonates for you. If you enjoy the reading, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.